Hey guys, what is up? My name is Maite and today I want to show you how to declutter your mind slash how decluttering has helped me with anxiety. So I hope you guys like this video and if you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to It's My TG which is this channel and It's My TG MX which is my Spanish channel and remember that all my social media is going to be linked down below so you guys can follow me. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends and let's get started. I'm gonna read to you a quote that I really liked about clutter. Clutter is not just physical stuff, it's all the ideas, toxic relationships and bad habits. Clutter is anything that does not support your better self. Eleanor Brown I'm a very anxious person and when I discovered minimalism, I've gotta say it really changed my world. It may sound silly, but having so many things creates clutter. Clutter creates anxiety, even if you are a disorganized person. Cluttered places are also known as stressful environment. Surrounding yourself with toxic people and filling yourself with mean comments or negative energy, it may not seem that bad, but with time it will create stress. And when the stress is too high, it creates anxiety. And that's basically why decluttering your objects and your mind is so important. So I'm gonna give you a list of things that will help you with anxiety and decluttering your mind and some objects. Go for a nature walk. Meditate. Try not to use any mobile devices one hour before bed. Write down three things you're grateful for. Think about three things you like about yourself. Start looking for the positive side of things in your daily life. If you're having a bad day, if you're having a boring day, try always looking for the positive side. If you could relive that day, how would you make it more positive? A movie that pretty much explains what I'm trying to say, it's called About Time. So I really recommend you guys to watch it. Spend time with a friend, I don't know, go for a coffee, to a museum or the cinema, something you both like. Try to stop talking bad about other people. Try to go to sleep with your room organized, so that way when you wake up everything's clean and you don't have to do anything and you can start your day. At least once a month, try donating something that you don't like. Drink three cups of green tea. After one hour of sitting in front of the computer or something like that, try to stretch a little bit. Call your loved ones at least once a week. Read a book. Try to exercise at least 30 minutes daily. Have a day with yourself. Try to get out of your house and do something you enjoy doing by yourself. And one of the most important things, be in the moment. And what do I mean by this? We're always thinking about what's gonna happen then. We're not enjoying the moment. This moment is all that exists fully and completely live in this moment. It's okay to plan, it's okay to think about the future, but not 24-7. If you're gonna read a book, read that book. If you're gonna be with your friends, be with your friends and stop thinking about other things because you're not fully living in that moment. And that is something very important. So live in the moment. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to It's My TG which is this channel and It's My TG MX which is my Spanish channel and remember that all my social media is gonna be linked down below so you guys can follow me. Don't forget to comment down below if these tips help you. If you have some tips for decluttering your mind, some objects, some minimalist tips, share this video with all of your friends and I see you guys next week. Bye! <clears throat> Oh my god, can you believe it? What? Oh! Exercise at least 30 minutes lately. Lately. So I really hope it's focused on me. I'm a very active. Develop. Develop. Like, develop. Uh.